All right, welcome. This is bonus footage. This is going to be in the outtakes reel or the special special collector's edition DVD. Um, this is going to be me creating packages for our demonstrations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, my base welcome page for the ADEP uh, platform. The same for CQ. You see a button in here that says packages. Hit this. And what we'll see is um, the packages that are installed in your system or um, and some of the hot fixes. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new package. I'm going to create a package that I'm going to share with you all for um, that includes the overlaid text component. So I made a really verbose package name. I'm going to give it a version of 1.0. I'm going to put it in a group. Uh, my group is Adobe to Adobe Share. This just is a nice naming convention, one, because I like saying our team name over and over again. Um, and then also, it just keeps everything together. So now we have an overlay text component the package that's been defined. Uh, we're going to need to go into Edit and Modify it. Um, if we go into Edit Package, we'll see that there's some basic options here. Um, put in a description. Um, if you have a thumbnail, you can actually put in, um, upload a thumbnail from your system as an image that will replace the 65 by 65 pixel icon right here. We're going to go into Filters. In the Filters, you define the paths that you want to include in your uh, package. And these are node paths out of the JCR. So our particular package that we're creating is for the um, overlaid text component that I just did a demonstration of. So I'm going to go into Apps. I'm going to go into right here. Here's my text component. So what I need to do is take apps foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foundation directory and I'm going to say OK. And if you look, your root path is going to be apps foundation. So that's going to include everything from that point and farther down the, the, the nodes in the uh, JCR repository. And it's going to package them all up into the zip file that you can share with others. Um, if I needed to, I could add a rule. Uh, this is very handy where you can say include or not include based on regular expression patterns where you can exclude files from the actual package, or directories for that matter, from the package. We don't really need one in this because we're just going to include all the code. Um, dependencies. This tab defines dependencies for this package. Um, it, say you have a dependency on another package or a version name, um, or this replaces another package. Uh, this is where you define all of that. Um, in advanced, you can put in <clears throat> things like systems incorporated. Um, Adobe to Adobe team. Whoops. <laughs> uh, the URL. Uh, oops. We should put a U uh, HTTP on there. Protocol needs to be on there. Put our little link to our blogs there. <clears throat> and then if I had this package out there already, I could put a link to the package. Um, and then it defines some extra um, re requirements. Anyways, that's basically us putting the package together with some nice text metadata about the package. <clears throat> now, the package hasn't been built yet, and it says build status here. So if you hit build, you'll notice down here in the, in the activity console, you'll notice what it's doing. It's going through, and it's building a package. And this is the package name, and it's going to be a zip file. And it's going through and putting together um, a vault structure to be distributed. So if you look, there's a meta inf directory, um, the vault configuration, the vault uh, filters, node types that might be included in this package, properties. <coughs> and then it's going through and grabbing the content.xml. This is basically your node uh, definition for apps. Um, and then it's grabbing the definition for the foundation node. Then it's going in and it's grabbing all the content that was in that path that I defined. And it's uh, built it out now. Now we can take this component and we can hit the share button and share it on the day CQ um, package share or the Adobe package share. Um, or we can just download this and we can just download it and save it locally. It's a great way to distribute uh, your package from system to system. Another trick is um, now that you have this package defined, say you need to deploy it to, another, to your publish instance, what you can do is now go into replication. <coughs> And you go into your replication directory, or no, I'm sorry, not replication directory. If you go in to your tools and then go into packages and then find your package, which is right here. Okay. Now you can use replication to deploy this to your other nodes in your cluster. So if you right click and hit activate, you can actually deploy this component um, to your published instance. 
It's a really handy way to deploy your package. So that was packages.